Hello YouTube, Duncan Ryan coming to you again today for Guitar Shed videos. Thank you for watching. Um, today what we're going to cover is a technique that is used in many different areas of music from, um, you know, blues and jazz even to the very heaviest genres of metal and even in some country guitar. So it's fairly ubiquitous and that is palm muting. Now, for anyone out there who doesn't know what I mean by this, Palm muting is the use of the palm on the picking hand to dampen the strings a little bit to get a different sound out of them. And it creates a variety of dynamic responses depending on how you do it. Um, again, this may sound a little bit complicated, but it, it's really very simple once you get into it. So let's start off by just demonstrating the basic technique of uh, palm muting. And for this we're going to be using our open E string, that way you don't have to worry about your fretting hand at all, you can concentrate very heavily on your picking hand, and that's what you need for this particular technique. So, sounding the open E, that's just the clear pick note. And then if you listen, as I do it faster, you hear that it sounds same no matter how I do it in terms of the speed. So what do you do with that? You know, that it's a note, but you can make it sound a lot different depending on the technique you use in your picking, and one of these is palm muting. So in order to palm mute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my picking hand sideways, like like I'm showing here, and I'm going to rest it right on the bridge of my guitar. Now, in this case, this is a Floyd Rose tremolo bridge. Those of you with tunematic bridges, I realize you can't do this quite the same, but just rest it as close to the bridge of the guitar as you can. And you want a very small piece of your of the side of your palm right around this area here to be in contact with the string. You want it resting on the string. So now, let's try that exact same note and I'm playing it the same way but now this time I'll be using this basic palm mute. And you can hear how that sounds different. Now, most of the time, of course, you're not just going to be straight palm muting uh, several notes in a row like that. Uh, what you're going to be doing is using it with chords or with um, a series of notes that you're going to alternately palm mute and pick. So. Uh, what we're going to try now is a basic exercise in palm muting, and for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a series of octave chords, and for reference that is using the root note of the chord, and then going two strings over and two frets up to where, it is, to where the note is one octave higher. So, for example... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick with a palm mute this octave chord four times in a row, and then the fifth time I'm going to let the note ring out how it normally would. So, just so you can see how I'm doing this. Try that around the fretboard and with different chords so that you can develop a feel for how your hand should be resting. And I'd recommend the first time you try it, go slowly because you, you don't want to be concentrating on the speed with which you're picking. You want to be concentrating on how your hand is resting on the bridge. So if it's coming out like, say, and it's not ringing clearly as it did earlier, that probably means you're resting too much of your palm on the strings like this. So you want to listen to the notes as you play them in order to uh, figure out how you should be doing this technique. And uh, another exercise we're now going to get into is kind of after the thrash metal vein, and that's a genre in which uh, palm muting is used very, very heavily. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick with that same octave chord, uh, the same concept, 
Only this time, rather than picking the entire chord with the palm mute, we're going to pick only the root note. That is, only the note on the low E string. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a fast alternate picking series and then let the chord ring. So, for example, something like this. And that's just a very simple example. Um, you need to know alternate picking to do that one, but if you don't know that technique yet, what you can do is very simply just straight down pick say four times as fast as you can and then let that chord ring. You know, something like that. And this brings me to another uh, point about palm muting. Besides just using it to create that dampened effect of your chord or your note, you can also use it to uh, change the dynamic response of your quarter note. And what I mean by that is that if I palm mute, say, a chord that I'm playing, and then I neglect to palm mute, or choose, I suppose I should say, not to palm mute the next series of notes in, say, more of a lead style, what that's going to do is that's going to create a volume shift between what I'm playing in chords and what I'm playing in the single notes. So that can be used to a very great effect at a point in a song where you want, say, a series of notes to come out very much as the dominant uh, sound of your song. So for example, if I do just a very basic power chord series like this, and then, or I'll show you in a second, and then do more of a lead styled series over it, you can hear what it's going to sound like and how the differences are going to manifest themselves. And you can see in that how when I let the notes ring clearly in that lead section, what it would do is it brought those notes sort of uh, to the front of that song, if you will. In other words, it created an emphasis on them against the background of the palm muted notes. So that's another thing that palm muting is very, very useful for, is to create um, distinction between two different parts of the song. Um, just real quick again, I'd like to say to you guys, if you have comments, questions, suggestions, um, criticisms even, please feel free to comment below or to directly message us on this channel and we're going to try and address as many of those as we can. We're going to try and get all of the videos that you guys want done um, made uh, in as fast an order as we can because we want you guys to have what you want out of this channel. So please um, feel free to comment because we love to hear from you.